<laughs> this isn't going as badly as the Mog Turbo. Yeah, you've got some wacky RNG going there, Lancer. <laughs> got some very yeah. wacky RNG going. We're cutting that. That's all getting cut. <laughs> <laughs> cut no, it out. It was, uh... That didn't happen. I'm a munch munch. I think it was if if I played up against a hero and that didn't happen, I would probably have a couple questions. It's the rule. It it's has there. To happen it's with in hero. the game. It you can use it. It's there. There's up and down. Okay, let's see here. Up and down, round and round. Okay, let's see here. So I may just talk into a chat. Okay. So yeah, Silver's saying that up and down to can take the first ban. Okay. So, by being in winner's finals, these two players are now guaranteed at least top three. Yeah, which is, so, no matter what. Both of them are walking away with a prize here. Which is so, always pretty good. I mean, yeah. no matter what, if you can come into like even just a small event or something like that, yeah. come out of it happy. I mean, yeah. I think there's something to be gained no matter where you wind up. Yeah. But stick a little change to your pocket. Mm. Good, get some milk money. There's a milk, Plus, <laughs> the milk, milk money. <laughs> but, in all honesty, I mean, it's been really great to see everybody kind of come out with yeah. a really good show and things like that. And, you know, mm. Yeah, and there, there's been a lot of really spicy players here during this tournament, even though it's like a very small tournament like this. There's been like a lot of spiciness going on. I feel like we did get to see like a lot of different, you know, play styles and players being showcased out this storm. It's, it's really cool to see. And it's always a nice thing. You get a bit of variety yeah. and again, even with the lower turnout, we could have everybody have a Wait, chance to kind of what? get up and show stuff up. Sorry? Said swap Smashville with Final Destination then, but Final Destination is already banned because up and down already banned FD. I don't know what's going on, but we are going to town and city then, it seems like for game one. Hello, hello, Jufu. How go things today? Going one into the shenanigans did we, with Winter's Final. I think you. Oh, I there banned it. There we go. I freaking. Start going back it. around. There. We did it. There we go. Up change the bad. Yeah. Well, either way, it's town and city. I don't know if this is quite correct here, but yeah. either way, it's town and city is what we're going to. Yep. Is the case. I'm excited. It's the bigger smell. It's. I noticed that's getting a lot more play tonight. At least it's been mm. a lot more of the smash, a lot more of the, the town city, and we're getting a lot less. Maybe a couple more kills that wouldn't have happened to have killed somewhere else or something like that. But mm -hmm. things like that. Or sorry, vice versa. Where you're getting those situations where somebody's getting an up smash, a good opportunity, but not quite hitting that blast zone. So mm -hmm. yeah, so there's a lot of close calls there for sure. I think it's made it's for a, a couple longer stocks, which I don't mind in all honesty, because it's nice to see these players get mm -hmm. the chance to really feel each other out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Also, that's the reason there for not switching to hero there, Lancer. Yeah, I know Lancer doesn't like doing the hero ditto. <laughs> yeah. Oh, immediately doing the taunt. Oh, no's. Not like I'm this. I'm very interested to see which way this is going to go. I know this Toon Lake player is putting on a show. Mm -hmm. Just Absolutely. The absolute bomb drop combos and things like that. Maybe it's because mm -hmm. I've got a personal bias. Have to buy a couple of them. <laughs> but even on my side, I think yeah. got a good credit where credit's due. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, both silver and up and down here have been playing like absolutely incredible today. Out of the mines, and for sure. We've seen a. We, I believe we saw Silver start out with Wii Fit Trainer for the very first game, That's and, then, right, and yeah. then stick with Pit throughout the whole rest. And we've seen Up and Down stick mostly with Toon Link, but be going Corn, like during the Aegis games exactly. earlier. But this Pit has been having a lot more success. But it's been mm -hmm. it's been relatively back and forth. I know it was a fantastic mm -hmm. set against Carvia there. But yeah, for sure. Honestly, I like the placement of the arrows. I like a lot of the stuff that's going for it. A lot of it's very. Very well put together, well played. But mm -hmm. two yeah. leagues seem to be just out of the mind everywhere, all over I mean, the place. Can't keep. Track. I mean, both these players feel very much like they're trying to think like multiple steps ahead with like what they're setting up. You know, like three D chess. They're what? playing. <laughs> both of these players are playing three D chess out here. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. I don't mind the hero dare specifically or like the hero dare with Carvia. Gotcha. We have our first stock being taken there. I think it was a bit of a, a bomb mm. drop mishap, if I if I'm not mistaken. But I could mm. be wrong. Could be a smash hit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh my here. goodness, the deflector into the grab. Yeah, we noticed it during Carvia as well. Using that deflector not just for projectiles, but also as a really good defensive option and to find openings. Yeah, I've been putting a lot of good use into this deflector without actually seeing many, many punishments for it, which is mm -hmm. super interesting to see. Mm -hmm. For sure. Oh, good up air from up and down. Oh, and then oh. good up smash to take that first stock. It comes out so quick. Mm-hmm. Oh, good jab there to call the spot dodge. Also, we were talking earlier in this tournament about like how incredible Smash Ultimate of a game is in terms of like its roster size and how, you know, very few players are going to be playing like just a top tier. You're going to see people playing all kinds of characters. Like Similar situation. It's what we're seeing with this right now. We're seeing like two incredible players of Toon Link and Pit here, and we're seeing an incredible match with how the two of these go head to head. It's not something where we have a specific meta that's been kind of laid out for us here in, in mm -hmm. Smash Oh my goodness, like that. that arrow. Oh, Ooh, fantastic. Good F Smash. There. 
But in terms of at least getting a good opportunity to see it, I'm I'm really happy that we're getting to Winter's Finals here. We have a yeah. pit, we have a Toon Link. I mm -hmm. personally haven't seen a lot of those characters being yeah. played recently, and they're play being played very, very well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Real treat to see them being played like this. Up and down doing a lot of bobbing and weaving here. Trying to be unpredictable and such. Oh, good bomb into Nair. Using that bomb to cover a lot of the options. Very, very mm -hmm. vague about approach. Oh, that would have been a jab lock if the ledge wasn't right there. That probably would have been a jab lock kill, but alas, a little bit too close to the ledge. Good down air, though. That reflector is allowing you for a lot more opportunities to get back on stage and get back up. It's going to reset you mm -hmm. a little bit more. Oh, just able to air dodge the up air there. Just able to do that. Good ledge trump, but not quite able to get the spin to win. Oh, my nice goodness. grab, but a jab of his own. Mm -hmm. Oh, good read, but not quite able to get it there. Still seeking another bomb. Oh, good up smash. Out. Absolutely. Good up smash there. Yeah, I think uh, I think he was trying to cover up a few of those uh, freebies they've been letting him get away with for that reflector. It's kind of mm -hmm. going a little crazy. Silver's also been pretty crazy with some of these arrows sometimes, as we saw in the game I against Carvia. Good oh, parry. Absolutely. I haven't seen like a lot of arrows actually connect yet, but yeah. a lot that have been really, really close. And that's the thing is, and these are some characters that he's been playing against, but between Pikachu and Tulink that don't have a massive hitbox to begin with. So yeah, they're pretty tiny characters. Exactly, and very quick as well, especially mm -hmm. Pikachu in that regard. So yeah, definitely no for sure. A couple oh, missed arrows here and there. Mm -hmm. Still using that reflector. Still managing Ooh. to get back on the ground and turn that situation around. Ooh, the freaking Tokyo drift on the down air there. Yeah, I think up and down has two watches, local and Tokyo time, so he knows when to drift. <laughs> He's exists in two different area codes and everywhere all Yeah, <laughs> just so he knows when to drift. Oh, trying to get the scoop, Good but that punish. greenness is going to be costing up and down the game there with game Still one going to silver. Very, very, very close match. I know mm -hmm. um, if I'm sitting at last stock situation, 81%. Mm -hmm. Palms are sweaty, mom's mm -hmm. spaghetti. Mom's I'm spaghetti. Mom's yeah. spaghetti. <laughs> Knees weak, arms spaghetti. Yeah, there's <laughs> mom and I have spaghetti already. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, seems like the bands are going to be Final Destination, Smashville, and Battlefield. And that a case. But yeah, seems like up and down really won like a scoop there. Really gambled it all there, and unfortunately the gamble did not pay off. It seems like we're going to Hollow Bastion this time. I'm been interesting to see. It's been interesting to see a bit more Hollow Bastion. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, ho Hollow Bastion wasn't even a tur uh, stage in the game during the last Frag tournament. So, um, I when I was making the rule set for this one, I was like, let's see some Hollow Bastion. Yeah, I was really happy to see it get a little bit more play. Personally, mm -hmm. I like the center stage. Uh, oh, the corn switch play. up. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I think Toon Link was definitely doing enough. I think. What's yeah, it was really close with Toon Link for sure. I think what's scaring him off of that is the reflector. I think if. I yeah, think potentially. Since Toon Link has like so much utility off of both the boomerang and the bomb, yeah. the reflector could be a little bit sketchy there on that front. Let's see here. So let's see how the corn goes now. Good Not a case air. with the switch up. Oh, now in Hollow Bastion. Good grab. Oh, nice down air into Nair there. That Nair is, uh, actually covers a fair bit of distance. It seems like a relatively mm -hmm. small hitbox, but it's a long-lasting neutral air, and it definitely comes in handy in those kind of situations. Oh, good Nair there. Up and down, not Ooh. able to make it back. Silver going deep there. Good jab. Good Just looking what's going on behind there. <laughs> the main stream in a stream. Good arrow snipe. I think the corn pick may have seemed uh, good on paper, but it's still this pin is kind of putting in mm -hmm. a fair bit of work. Yeah, struggling here a bit. That's the thing. The silver able to put on so much pressure here. Oh, get the grab in. Hopefully, mm -hmm. the other can do some converting. Yeah, corn can hit pretty hard with those grabs. Yeah. Okay, both players just kind of waiting out in shield there. Good pin. Not quite enough yet, though. Trying to get the two frame. Oh, the, the armor. armor. The armor helping Silver through there. Yeah, not quite able to get the kill. The, the backer back is going to do it though. There we go. We're on a 2 2 situation. There it is. Mm -hmm. Two stocks either side. Green corn making some adjustments here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up and down able to make it back, seems like. Oh, good, uh, good patience there leading into a grab. Another one of those really good arrow shots. Mm hmm. Going deep again. Oh, it's Silver as Pit having like a really strong recovery. He gets After a lot all. of options in terms of going in deep. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna be punished whiffed. though. Oh, but, but not quite. Whiffed. Yeah, Korn's one of those weird characters in terms of how their attacks work. That's gonna be punished though. Yeah, good, yeah the upper's up gonna kill. Seems really, really, like. Really, really good kill option here so far. Mm -hmm. Definitely seems like. 
Another pin, tack on some more damage. Fish Neck Red Roar back airs, but... Getting some big damage off of these grabs at low percent. Really getting the full kind of utility out of that grab kick. So it's converting a lot of down air into neutral air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it winds up tacking on a lot of damage. Oh, oh no! The, tech, the down fantastic air! Fantastic tech. Gonna take it there. Going up 2 0. Mm -hmm. Uh, they have been pretty close games though, but I feel like the two and Link was probably doing a little bit better there than the Corn. I think so. I think on paper it sounds great. You don't have to deal with the reflector as much. However, I think you're sneaking enough bombs in. You give yourself a couple more options in terms of recovery. You, you kind of give yourself a couple of tools you need to kind of deal with, especially in the hit with a lot of those situations where you either you have to find a way out or find a way back on yeah. stage. Yeah. Yeah, becomes a bit tricky there. All right, same bands it seems like. Looks like we're going to Kalos Pokemon League this time for game three. Interesting! So choosing a bit of a different stage this time. Are we going to see the continuation of the corner or are we going to see the switch back to the Toon Link, I wonder? That's an interesting question. I think uh, I think the Toon Link is probably going to be what we wind up seeing the yeah. switch back to. If That's what I predict from. at least. Especially with somewhere like Kalos Pokemon League where the recovery options aren't as limited when you do not have it. You have that flat wall. Yeah. Sure. So I think you're, you're playing a lot more dangerous in the game if you're trying to get more linear recovery. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's switching back to two and Link seems like. Getting the switcheroo back in that case. Alright, let's see, let's see if that's lines up promising. Mm -hmm. We shall see. Alright, game three of winner's finals. Going to Kalos Pokemon League. I feel like we haven't seen enough of this stage this, uh, in this room. I'm personally a, rel a really big fan of this stage. Got a couple mm -hmm. more unique options, but... Mm -hmm. their own, right? Yeah, for sure. And, but I like Yoshi's, so yeah, I, yeah. something I'm You definitely very much like Yoshi's me, right? there, is the thing. Oh, Getting some very it. good damage coming out from up and down there. No, seems like you starting to kind of get a little bit more confident again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that down weak air down air into Nair, Nair tacks on so much damage. Oh, good scoop. Silver not quite holding shield for long enough there. Oh really my goodness, so many goes. bombs! So many, I'm good arrow snipe. That good tether, there. I think, was a fantastic choice for this mm -hmm. Yeah, safe option there. Going for the ledge trump. But Silver going right onto the stage. Getting the spin for spin to win, though. Good bomb. Not getting the ledge trump this time. Back throw. Not going to be enough quite yet. Oh, good bombish movement. Oh, but the dunk, though. Was out with the tech. First blood going to up and down now. Oh, the arrow snipe. The wall jump barely making it back, but I don't think up and down can make it back from there. No. Oh, not quite. Right after taking that initial stock, it immediately being tied back up here. Yeah, it's getting to be really, really tight. Oh, oh, oh the, boomerang the boomerang save! Interrupting the up smash. Boomerang, best doubles partner. Seems like. <laughs> boomerang so equals best doubles partner. <laughs> exactly. Sokka would be proud. I'm fairly certain. I, did you hear about the Netflix the re-adaptation? Yep. Uh, is that even still happening? I don't know. <laughs> Boomerang coming out again. I'm surprised that the uh, that the hook shot didn't hit like the falling Zare, honestly. Still throwing up a lot of those arrows, even at the close mm -hmm. range. Nothing really checking him so far. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, the freaking arrow the that curved, curved right, right above over. his head. Yeah, gave him a little bit of a haircut there, it seemed like. Yeah. The, for those who don't know, Silver is opening a bit of a barber business on the side. <laughs> just taking Seems a little like. off the top. Yeah. Oh. Doing it for free right now, just looking for some work and like recommendations and stuff to get this business off the ground. <laughs> Seems like. And up and down graciously getting that haircut there. He seems to be kind of winding up a little bit more back to neutral. How cool. did that miss? Not a huge amount of commitment, I'm thinking, so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, but in the good arrow shot still. Mm -hmm. Kind of just throwing out a lot of the neutral air, a lot of the, mm -hmm. the you know, the arrows and stuff like that keep things safe. We're in a situation where he's off stage mm -hmm. again. We're also seeing a lot of those like falling nares into things like grab as we saw a second ago there, being used to like full effectiveness. Yeah, these arrow shots certainly being something. Yeah, the, calling the out the roll out. there. Able to get that F smash and take another stock. This could be up and down's final stock of winner's side. If, oh my goodness, that the read there. That was a heavy up smash, but no kill. Yeah, very high upper blast zones on Kalos here, so. Not quite gonna kill yet. Oh, I guess we're back. It seems like. The good grab. Yeah, we're seeing the weak yep. down air into Nair again. That down air into, into neutral air seems to be kind of the name of the game. Seems like. <laughs> if we get three more people from Civil's business, we can have a barbershop quartet. Mayhap. Oh, good read there. there. We go. And that will close it out. Mm -hmm. Here comes the bomb again. 
Last stock scenario. Mm -hmm. Oh, good spin to win. Tacky on 15% there. But Silver having some, some spins as well. Nice drift on the down air. Once again with the two watches for local and Tokyo time. Seems like up and down with the mix-ups here. Jumping around with the bombs. Like, where are they going to go? Where are they going to land? Nice duck from Silver there. Boomerang into Zare. Still mm -hmm. out, working out okay. It's a nice poke. Keep yourself safe. Mm -hmm. The Boomerang has done a lot in terms of keeping, uh, keeping them out of a lot of those bad situations. So, mm -hmm. seems to have turned it around a bit where we're in a high percentage shot for, uh, for Silver there. And mm -hmm. Relatively safe position oh. for Toon Link. Forward tilt. Reaching a little bit behind there. It's a very interesting hitbox on the move. Oh, almost getting another thing. Good arrow snipe, but the back here. Oh, gonna take the it tragedy. Just there. Wow. You know Silver what? just able to take it there, but a very close game indeed. I think so, and the, both of those rounds is too like There was a lot definitely going there. It was just mm -hmm. a couple little mista uh, minor mistakes here and there, but still phenomenal yeah. play by both of them. Absolutely. And, and it is worth noting that it is possible that these two might see each other in bracket again, since now up and down is going to be going to losers finals, and if up and down wins losers finals, it's going to be going back up against Silver again. So it's it is be possible. To see. I'm, so uh, I'm hoping so. This, this it, is a phenomenal uh, match mm -hmm. for sure. So, it's possible they might see each other again, but either way, both these players are already, like, on the podium for prizing, isn't it? And that's, and that's the thing, is right yeah. now, everybody's in a position where you're walking away with something, so. Yeah. Which is neato there. As well as a sense of pride, you know? Yeah, for sure.